Okay. Uh, Alright, Super Mario Land. Uh, the bit just get set up again here. I don't know. I changed my headphones. Uh, my other ones stopped working, and for some reason that made, uh, I don't know, OBS and everything get messed up. Uh, Anyways, I haven't uh, really played this before, uh, I never had it on Game Boy, and uh, I don't know, when I first started, uh, when I first fired this up here, uh, I had to go and uh, just check that uh, it was actually supposed to be like this, because, uh, I don't know, in case you've never played this, it feels very strange. Like, Mario's really kinda jerky. And you can see when he's uh, hitting the, the blocks there, he kinda like bounces through them and then bounces off them really hard. And I don't know, everything just feels kinda weird. So, uh, I had to go and, you know, I checked some uh, videos online just to see what it uh, was actually supposed to play like, and uh, I guess this is how it is. some other weird things, like, uh, I did grab the star there, but, uh, if you don't grab it, it will just, uh, fall through the floor. Uh, so yeah, there's... I don't know, the whole thing kind of gives me the impression of, like, a, I don't know, some, like, Chinese clone game or something. I don't know, it doesn't feel like Mario. And Mario's like momentum and stuff's all weird too. Okay, I was hoping for lives. I want to hopefully beat the game uh, entirely, so that's why I'm going a bit slow and careful and uh, grabbing all the coins so I can uh, get as many uh, lives as possible. Yeah, see the thing with the uh, uh, fireballs is kind of weird too. Okay, I, I didn't know those guys would... Uh, I had seen them like explode, but I thought that was just a... Uh, I don't know, an animation, I didn't think they would actually like, kill you, so they are, like, bombs, I guess. I guess the game is supposed to be pretty good, so, I don't know. Hopefully it's, you know, good in spite of, kind of, all the weirdness. Whoa. Yeah, it's also, I don't know, it, if you're falling downstairs, you seem to have a hard time jumping. I don't know, it, he kind of, he seems to kind of just, like, slip down the stairs or something. Okay, that was a one-up, I guess. I guess because it's not color, uh, they can't have, uh... You know, a red and green mushroom. Yeah, I think I can probably uh, make it. I didn't know those would uh, fall. Alright. I haven't died yet, anyways, and I got five Marios, so hopefully I can build up a stock early on. Great. Yeah, so I know people do speak pretty highly of this, uh, I guess lots of people had it on their Game Boy. kind of graphics always put me off playing it. Uh, I don't know, just how everything is kind of small and stuff. Uh, oh, 
Okay, I thought that was gonna fall. I'm supposed to be able to get up there, or if I was supposed to get up there from earlier, or if that's an exit from some pipe I missed. I guess I probably gotta jump over him. Yeah, if I do get a uh, game over, I'm not sure if I'll uh, like restart and try and beat it. I might just play until I get a game over, I don't know, unless I start to really like it. Alright, uh, uh, this is uh, Daisy's Kingdom, I guess. or uh, nerve-wracking. Yeah, I should have... I wanted to check the pipe, but uh, I also wanted... I was pretty sure that was going to be a mushroom. Also, the... Uh, the song being, uh, whatever this is, I don't know, this is some famous song, and I know I've heard it, I probably should know what it is, but, uh, I don't know, being this, it just kind of adds to the whole, uh, I don't know, Chinese knockoff kind of feel. of the uh, fireballs and everything. Okay, so I, I do lose uh, the fire flower and my uh, bigness if I get hit. Oh, right now I'm playing with the uh, my 8-bit do uh, SF30 uh, 
pad. Uh, I recently uh, kind of uh, fixed the D-pad. Uh, it had a problem where, uh, like, they typically have a problem where, uh, uh, when you're uh, pressing down, sometimes it'll press uh, down and right, or, you know, if you're pressing right, it might press down and right. Uh, just kind of, like, random diagonals. Uh, so what I did to fix that was just, uh, uh, I just 3D printed a little, uh, kind of round, uh, donut kind of shape thing with some holes in it to, uh, put over the, uh, uh, pads on the PCB so that it, uh, uh, is a bit harder for them to connect, so you have to actually press the, uh, correct direction. So that seems to be working pretty good. Uh, I've seen some people do it just with those uh, paper binder uh, stick things uh, for putting on, uh, you know, holes in paper to reinforce them so that they don't tear the binder. Uh, but I don't have any of those and I do have a 3D printer so I just did that instead. Typically I use either this or a, uh, I think, I think it's PDP, uh, GameCube style USB controller, or no, uh, it might be Hori, uh, it's the Pikachu one, uh, but the D-pad on it isn't the greatest, because it's, uh, GameCube style, it's better than the actual GameCube D-pad, but, uh, it's still not super great. Kind of the best D-pad I can get for this. Oh. I was trying to jump there, but I hit my head on the one block. This song sounds familiar too. I'm not sure if it's. I don't know. I don't. I don't know if like it's actually just like a Mario song and I'm remembering it from somewhere else or if this is again some other famous song anything down there, but uh, I don't want to risk it just in case. Hmm. Oh, okay, I could have jumped uh, up those blocks. This is going pretty good so far. Uh, It's not too terribly difficult, and uh, it's pretty fun. care for uh, side-scrolling shooters typically, but uh, I guess as a one-stage uh, side mission thing, it's okay.
guess I gotta uh, just get behind him again and uh, shoot that thing out. I guess the trick there is to just maximize the chance of getting lives. Just aim for one where even if the ladder uh, goes on, you know, is next to you, uh, you won't possibly be able to get the fire flower. some way I'm supposed to be able to get those and survive. Okay, good. I was worried I was going to have to, uh, like, run on these or keep jumping or something. Uh, but so long as you just, uh, stay put, you're good.
Okay, good. The uh, waterfalls are just uh, cosmetic. There's no uh, downpull or anything. This isn't where, like, the game just, uh, gets crazy difficult. Now, can I... Oh, good. I was kind of worried he was just gonna kill me if I jumped on him. That makes it easier. Uh, now, see, I don't know if, uh, those will just pass over me. something in there. Yes. I didn't need to go in there yet. I lost probably 20 points from that. Why do you seem to be just uh, gaining lives mostly? I'm gaining them faster than I'm losing them anyways. Which I guess is, uh, I don't know, pretty typical of most Mario games. They're not usually that difficult, even the older ones. I remember as a kid, uh, I had uh, 
Mario, uh, Super Mario Bros, and uh, Mario 3, and I just never beat them because I was just really bad at games as a kid. Uh, and then a couple years ago, I was like, okay, I'm, I'm gonna beat them. Like, I'm gonna sit down and I'm gonna beat them, even if I have to go through them like a ton of times to get really good at them. Uh, and it ended up like the first time I played, you know, I first time playing through them in probably 10 years. Uh, I managed to uh, I managed to get through like the entire game like Mario 1 and Mario 3 uh, and I had like 30 lives or something left at the end so uh, they're you know they're old NES games but they're not that difficult I did have Mario 2 as a kid too. Uh, well, I had like the NES, and then soon after I got the uh, Super Nintendo, and it came with uh, Mario All Stars. So I mostly played them on that as a kid, uh, just because then you can save and stuff. Uh, I, I never did beat Mario 2 either, but I didn't. I didn't even really play it much as a kid. Like, I played Mario 1 and 3 all the time, I just never managed to beat them, but, uh, even now I still haven't played through Mario 2 and beat it. Oh, so I... I guess I should have paid attention and dropped through there. That's too bad. Oh! Okay. That's really good to know. I just have no idea how these are gonna bounce, so... Yeah, I don't know if I can get in that corner there. waste too much time here, I'll end up timeouting, and then there'll be no point in having gained them. Okay, we're in like Japan land now or something, China land. Uh, I did play through uh, Mario Lost Levels as well, uh, recently. Uh, I think I, you know, I had that, of course, on the uh, Mario All-Stars as a kid, but uh, never really played it much at all because it's just kind of uh, way too difficult but uh, it does have unlimited continues uh, if you want to play through it uh, you can do it eventually you don't have to start from the beginning ever it's just not uh, it's just not very well designed I think uh, it's a lot of, uh, you know, it feels like kind of a poorly done uh, fan, like Mario Maker level or something. Oh, come on. Uh, like Mario 1, you can actually pretty easily, like on your even your first time playing, if you're paying attention enough, just run right through it, like, without stopping. Everything is pretty much, uh, in the right spot where, you know, if you're just running full speed, uh, uh, uh like the, you know, the turtles in the air will be in the right spot for you to jump over them or under them or, uh, bounce off them. Uh, you know, whatever you need, but Mario... Uh, boss levels has 
There's just lots of stuff just in weird spots where you'll be running full speed and then, uh, you know, you'll have to just come to a dead stop while you wait for a turtle to get in the right spot or, or you'll be proceeding carefully and then you'll get to a point where you just don't have enough momentum like you were supposed to be running full speed. Uh, and now you just have to fall off a cliff because you can't possibly make the jump unless you were running full speed. So there's just a lot of kind of trial and error stuff then. Where you can just, you just never know what you're supposed to actually be doing. cloud almost tripped me there. I, for a moment I figured, oh, I can land on the cloud, right? And then uh, in midair, I was like, oh wait, no, that's probably not. These guys are annoying. Oh, come on. It went like right through me. Yeah, Mario's... The collision with Mario and the blocks and stuff is, uh... I don't think uh, Mario's hitbox is, uh, and the blocks is, uh, like, full size. I don't think they're, they're full, uh, 8 by 8 You really gotta... Something like came out of the pipe and died or something when I was standing on it before there. These bonus games, these are the, uh, these are saving it, I think. Uh, if it weren't for them, I probably would be running out of lives. jump on those. So I know like in most Mario games, those enemies, you couldn't jump on them. But I have no idea about this one. just sat there. Oh, I gotta start from... Oh, okay, I thought that was the beginning.
Okay, you can just jump on them. That's good to know. Hopefully I can get three here and make up for all the lives I lost on that. Uh, I won anyways. Oh. I've been avoiding the blocks, because uh, I'm assuming you die or you lose, a, lose uh, health anyways if you touch them, but uh, I'm not 100% sure. Okay, they just push you and then you get squashed. Okay. Yeah, I've been just avoiding touching any everything, but uh, you don't die instantly or anything. That's good. I guess he's making a sound when I hit him, so... Oh no... Just keep shooting and dodging, and don't worry, uh, he'll run into your bullets uh, sooner or later. Uh, 
Oh, really? That's it? Oh, she gets... Did she fall out or something? There's only four worlds? Okay, I was kind of hoping she would kiss him there and say, Oh, thank you, you've saved me, and then turn into a monster and laugh and run away. I guess that's it. It seems kind of short. I thought there would be, typically there's eight levels. I don't know if, uh, I don't know, there's gonna be like a, like we're gonna crash, I'm gonna have to go through another four levels to find her or something. At least the credits should be pretty short. There's not typically a huge uh, team for a Game Boy game. So Daisy's like Mario or Luigi's like girl. Why is Mario the one saving her here? Okay, I guess that's it. And you just uh, start over again. Go for the top score, I guess. All right. Uh, I guess that's it. Uh, Super Mario Land. Uh, yeah, that was pretty fun. Uh, it's kind of short, uh, kind of weird and janky, like I mentioned. It kind of seems more like, uh, you know, a, a Chinese Game Boy port of uh, Super Mario Bros. or something. Just the movement, all the weirdness. Uh, and it doesn't really look uh, that impressive. Like, it's not ugly, but uh, I'm pretty sure the Game Boy can do better than this. But, I don't know, I don't play that many Game Boy games, so maybe I'm, uh, I don't know, wrong in that, but, uh, yeah, I guess it was pretty fun. Uh, I might play two sometime, because I think there's three of these on the Game Boy, although, for some reason I th think the other one's Star Wario, I don't know. Anyways, I guess that's, uh, all for this. Alright.